The Triple Tech is a seven inch Android tablet with a 10 core, 64 bit CPU, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal memory. It has a 13 megapixel camera and a 10,000 milliamp battery, all of which are not even the best things about this tablet. What's the number one thing about this tablet? Of course, it's the 1200 nit screen brightness. This is one of the brightest tablets that you can buy. That means that you don't have to use a sunshade anymore and you can use polarized sunglasses when you fly your drones and never have to worry about being able to see your screen. What is the second most impressive thing about this tablet? It's pretty durable. <laughs> Try that with your iPad. So everyone is talking about the screen brightness and how amazing it is, and it is. But for me, the bigger benefit is the rugged outer shell that this tablet is encased in. I drop things a lot and my life needs to be drop proof as much as possible. Hi everyone, my name is Russ and I make videos for fun, mostly about drones and also other tech related things. And it is my goal with every video that I put out that you walk away with something of value. So consider subscribing to the channel if you find something here that you like and you wanna see more videos like this. So the Triple Tech tablet has been making the rounds in the drone arena and it's left quite an impression. Why is that? Well, I believe the biggest reason is because it is the first tablet that has come along in a long time that actually challenges the DJI Crystal Sky Monitor. The Triple Tech is actually brighter than the equivalent version of the Crystal Sky, and it's $150 cheaper. Now, if you don't know about the Crystal Sky, it is a very high quality tablet that was designed primarily for commercial drone use, and it comes in three versions right now, with the cheapest one costing $499, the best value one, and the most common one is $749, and then the best version costs $1,099. That's for a tablet. And it is targeted towards pilots mostly that fly drones for a living, or at least partially for a living. And then I guess you could also say some serious recreational pilots can appreciate it as well. But as good as the Crystal Sky is, it's pretty expensive and it's very specific for a single use case, flying drones. You see, the Triple Tech is not just a tablet for flying drones, but it's also a very capable everyday Android tablet. You can use it for anything you normally would on say something like a Samsung Galaxy tablet or anything like that. But the thing about it is the brightness is the most highly sought after feature for drone pilots. So right now, let's take a quick look at a little comparison to my iPad Pro 11 inch when it comes to screen brightness. Okay, so I do wanna show you the difference in brightness on camera. You can see it, it's pretty significant. So here's my iPad Pro 11 inch. I got the brightness turned all the way up. So go ahead and just bring up the DJI Go4 Home app and app home and then uh, I have the triple tech also set to 100% brightness. So let's go ahead and bring that same screen up so you can compare. Um, there we go. So in the shade already you can see, I'll try to block the sun here. And right there's the iPad Pro and there is the triple tech, much brighter. Um, there is a anti-glare uh, screen protector on the triple tech so you know, you get less glare, so let me show you what it looks like here. There's the glare on the iPad, and there's no glare on the Triple Tech. Of course, this is a bad angle, but uh, but when you look in them in the shade, look at how much more bright that Triple Tech is. And then we'll look in the direct sunlight, and you can see there, you can't even see the iPad Pro screen, and the Triple Tech is nice and easy to see. So, you know, the only benefit having the iPad now is the real estate, you know, having 11 inches, that's nice, but I think I would give up 11 inches for the seven inch and much brighter screen. So yeah, very impressive at how much brighter this is than the iPad. I didn't know what I was missing. So yeah, really cool. You see, one of the most frustrating things about flying drones on sunny days is that it can be difficult to see everything clearly. And this is not only just a nuisance, but more importantly, it is a safety issue. Although you should not rely just on your screen for situational awareness, 
It is a very important component of flying safely and having a clear screen can mean the difference between getting home safely or causing major damage or possibly even injury. Now the Triple Tech also comes with an anti-glare screen protector on it, which as you just saw, really helps with reflections. So taking a look at the exterior of the tablet, here's my biggest complaint about the Triple Tech. I can't get these darn port covers open without using some sort of sharp tool of some kind. Now that's good for dust and moisture protection, but it's really frustrating for those of us that don't have any fingernails. Like even if I had fingernails, these things are in here very tightly and so they're pretty hard to get out. Now on this side of the Triple Tech, you're gonna find the power button and the reset button. Here are the volume toggles, the SD card slot, and you can add up to 256 gigabytes of external storage. And then this is a SIM card slot if you wanna use data on this tablet. On this side is the DC port and then the USB-C port for charging. It charges with USB-C, so that's pretty nice. Right over here on this side is the dock port and then this is a SOS button which can be set to call an emergency number when you push it. And then right here is the camera shutter button. And then on the very top, it does have a headphone jack. It does come with a nice padded carrying strap. It comes with a charging brick and all of the necessary cables and adapters. As far as what tablet mount do you need for this one? I use the PGY Tech tablet mount that I use on a regular basis with all of my drones, but I actually don't recommend this one for the Triple Tech because it doesn't hold on to this thick shell. You know, this outer shell is pretty thick and uh, the PGY Tech does not hold it very tightly. It's not very snug. As you can see, it doesn't fit in there all the way. And I also tried the Polar Pro Flight Deck, which is an amazing tablet mount, um, but that as well is not wide enough to hold uh, the Triple Tech very snugly. So Triple Tech does have one that fits this tablet specifically on their website, and it is designed just for this tablet. So the tablet mount that Triple Tech has on their website is for the, only for the newer style DJI controllers. It's only gonna work with the Mavic Air 2 or the Mini 2 controller. It doesn't work with the older style, you know, the Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, or the Mavic Pro. And so what I did is I hopped online, I went on Amazon, and I did find a tablet mount that looks like it would work really well, and it's from Acrotor, and it's got the wider grip on it, so it will fit the thicker shell of the triple tag. It looks like it can also be used with the Crystal Sky, so I think it's meant for the thicker tablets. And so I'll put a link for that in the video description. I haven't used it, I can't tell you if it's good or not, but it does have four and a half stars and 286 ratings. So it looks like it's a pretty good one. So if you need a tablet mount and you're getting the triple tech, um, I would take a look at that one. Now, one more thing that I mentioned that bears repeating is the battery life. 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Nothing even comes close to that. The Crystal Sky battery is half of that. The display on the Triple Tech is touch capacitive, so you can use touch gloves on those cold winter days. And as I mentioned, it does come with a nice anti-glare protector. You can use the Triple Tech in temperatures from zero to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and it can be stored in negative 20 all the way up to 170 degrees. This tablet handles heat very well. Even at full brightness, running the DJI Go4 app and my screen recorder, it barely got warm. So that is the T7121 Triple Tech tablet. If you have been considering a tablet for your drones at all, I would definitely take a look at this one. It does work with other brands besides DJI. I should probably have mentioned that early on. Now, if you were considering a Crystal Sky, I absolutely would get this one instead, simply for the fact that you can use it for so many other things. It's cheaper, it's brighter than the 7.8 inch bright version of the Crystal Sky. The battery life is better, and then also for this impressively rugged design. They claim that this thing can handle two tons of pressure, but I don't recommend testing that out. Now there is a link in the description down below, so head over there to learn more details or if you wanna get your very own. Now just a little bonus I thought I'd throw at the end of this video. When I was out flying today, I mounted my Insta360 ONE X2 on top of my Mavic 2 Pro just to see what it would look like. I will be doing a full review on the ONE X2, but it's not done yet. So if there's something that you would like me to test with the One X2, just let me know in the comments and I may add it and give you credit. Hit a thumb on your way out of the video today, preferably the one that's pointing up, but either one matters. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching today. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.